All right, here's the MacTech BB2252 portable line blowing machine. Let's crack her open and see what we got. An inventory list with all the individual components. Small hardware pieces and cutting tools will be packed in toolboxes and the bigger pieces have compartments. Everything has its place to keep the components from getting banged around on its way to you. Why don't we take a look at the major components we're gonna be needing today. First of all, a lot of these components bolt together. The hardware is stored in the toolboxes along with tool bits and extension kits. We've also got the alignment cones and clamp collars, which rough center the boring bar into your setup as your starting point until you get the bridges and bearings onto the workpiece. Then there's the bridges with bearing supports. Next is the drive head with a built-in anti-rotation bracket, the feed screw, and the feed head. Then the boring bar itself. And the last thing you'll need to check for is the motor. As long as your box has those, you're good to get to work. First up, we need to place the boring bar onto your workpiece. You use these alignment cones to get it centered. These cones get you approximately 30 thousandths of true center, depending on the condition of the bores you're setting up in. Once it's centered, secure it with a clamp collar to tighten the cones. Make sure it's snug when you push it apart. This holds the bar in place so that you can mount the bridges and bearing supports. Slide the bearing and bridges support onto the end of the bar. Now you need to attach your weld on feet with bolts from the toolkit to attach the bridges to the workpiece on both ends. This work's already been done for making this video. When you're done, you can take the alignment cones off. It should look like this. Everything's straight and on center. All the bridges have swivel bearings that accommodate uneven setups and unlevel surfaces. There are four bolts in the bearing housings that allow for fine adjustment in the X and Y axis. If you really need to get down to brass tacks, you'll need a micrometer or dial indicator to adjust these. Next, it's time for the drive assembly. You'll slide it onto the end of the bar and pay close attention to the key as it slides over the end of the bar and then connect the anti-rotation bracket to the bridge. You need to make sure this is secure as it's holding all the torque of the bar. If you're facing, you need to secure the lock collar, but if not, you do not need to tighten it. Now it's time for the feed assembly. The lead screw is threaded through the feed assembly like this. Then you want to tighten the brass jam nut into the driver. Tighten the lock collar on the back of the feed assembly to secure it to the bar. This is what brings the muscle to the machine for linear travel. Take your time here. Line everything up, secure it, and double check your connections. A bad fit here, meaning a loose fit, can cause damage down the line and nobody wants that. Looks good, right? Let's keep moving. The next step here is to load our cutting tool. Pick the right tool for the job and set it into the boring bar. I'm gonna use some in a carbide here because it's cheap, readily available, and a good general purpose cutting tool. Now you wanna to touch off your tool tip to the workpiece edge. Advance the tool out of the bore and set your depth of cut with a dial indicator. Make sure everything's locked in tight. Tool extensions achieve a machine range from four to 16 inches or 12 to 24 inches with the available larger boring head. Now we're installing the drive motor. Save this for last as a safety precaution. There's a drive key on the motor you gotta make sure is in place. Secure the drive motor through the drive head assembly. As a general rule, you should walk down your setup and make sure everything's secure and tight. Pretty straightforward stuff. Before we fire it up, we need to plug in the power cord and set the speed. Now we do a little bump check just to make sure everything's safe. All right, you're ready to roll. That's it for the BB2252 setup. Your machine's set up and ready for the first cut. Turn it on and let the big dog eat. 
Now when you're done, don't forget to remove the piece safely. Take your time here, pay attention, no shortcuts. Clean cuts and safe practices keep the job running smooth.